I'm Rob from Barefoot Gaming and we are headed down the road to review American Truck Simulator in virtual reality. So this is a game that doesn't want to be in VR. I'm going to tell you that right in advance. You have to go into Steam, you have to manually enter a command line, you have to set it up to run an Oculus Rift SDK, even if you're not running a Rift. You have to, there's piles of mapping you have to do on your controls, and sometimes you'll have to pop in VR and out of VR to actually get everything set up. It's, it's a lot, and it doesn't want to be a VR game. That being said, it is crazy crazy amounts of fun it's relaxing i get to drive across the countryside even though i would never be a truck driver in the real world i can't i fight staying awake if i have to drive longer than an hour i'm eating sunflower seeds or whatever in here what they do is they compress the world so if you're traveling an hour from one city to another in real time it's only going to take you maybe 15 minutes if you're moving across from one area to another the time will move faster so it'll become day it'll become night evening dusk you have to be running your headlights you know the first time i started playing this I, I was trying to wrap my brain around what it was that was all catching me because the game is interesting but it's a very mundane task right and as i'm driving and as i'm thinking about why i'm enjoying this so much i noticed that there's there's a train driving alongside of me it's going a little bit faster and i realized that i've seen train tracks all over the place they're actually populated by trains and i'm like that's wild as i look up i see an eagle through my sunroof in the truck that i'm driving flying overhead there is a traffic accident up ahead and i'm having a detour because somebody was in an accident and now there's a cop car parked in front of it i'm using my gps to figure out how to get around and how to get back on my path you have to make sure that you're filling your truck up with diesel you have to make sure you're getting rest because those are all meters that you have to monitor and beyond that it's kind of i i i'm leery to liken it to a base building game but it kind of is because as you earn money as you earn experience you can improve not just your own truck not just your own shop you can hire other drivers but you can also increase your skills so you can do things like uh, be able to carry you know hazardous waste you can do things like carry longer loads so now you've got multiple trailers behind you so you're gonna make more money on your loads but corners are gonna be way harder and there is traffic coming from the other direction the game is super demanding so if you're gonna turn the options even up to like medium in VR you need to have a pretty beefy rig these are all things that should take away from it and I just kept finding myself wanting to do more and more and more because I wanted to unlock more stuff I wanted to be able to haul more things I wanted to be able to buy a truck I made a mistake I went and I borrowed a bunch of money from a bank in the game they're charging me a high interest rate so I'm having to drive more I found a place where I can hire people to drive extra trucks but my shop is too small so I'm gonna have to earn more money to upgrade my shop it's just it's neat in the sense that it's there's so much to do but when you're doing it it's very relaxing so you can't speed well you can speed but if you get speeding tickets I mean that comes off of your profits you run red lights um, all these things they all cost you money and these are all you know things to keep you in line so you'll be driving along and it's it's getting darker right because that speeds up as well the uh, rain is on you flick on your windshield wipers and you just you enjoy the radio station because there are live radio stations built into the game you can choose what kind of radio station you want to listen to they talk to you like you're a trucker driving in a truck and this is all broadcast across the interwebs into the game there's so many layers and as frustrating as it was to get everything set up it's easy to get into now i have my vr recenter uh, button is at the ready there's like i said piles of mapping you got to make sure that you're able to raise and drop your your truck uh like the the trailer you have to there's a lot of things to set up and all of that doesn't detract from the game this is a game i did not think i was going to love and i ended up loving it uh, i'm looking forward to getting back into it my only negative is every time i sit down i'm gonna spend like an hour hour and a half virtual trucking but i'm building up a truck empire and it's just i i really like this game it caught me off guard and i highly recommend it i i don't know i don't even know how to sell it because i didn't want to try it this was something that was recommended to me and i'm like i really don't think it's my kind of game 
and I was wrong. So if you see this on sale, I think Steam has it around $20 US, 25 Canadian, with piles of DLC, which I also picked up on sale, so you can actually drive into different states. Plus there's the Euro Truck Simulator, which, you know, again, we're talking on the flip side here, all across Europe, you can drive and see different kinds of backgrounds and scenarios and different, like the modding community is big in this game. I recommend it. That's my last word on American Truck Simulator. Uh, if you have questions, leave them down below. Like, comment. I, I love hearing from you and don't forget to subscribe. I will talk to you again real soon. See ya.